Hello, KCIW listeners, and welcome to Curry Cafe, where we put together a panel of volunteers and guests who discuss various topics from whimsical and fun to more serious subjects. Well, hello again, and welcome to another edition of Curry Cafe. My name is Ray Gary, and for today's episode, I'm going to be the host, like I always am. But anyway, uh, we're going to talk about the Olympics today, and I don't know if that's one of the uh, whimsical or one of the serious I think it's things. Both. It's both. both? Okay. Both, right. Um, yeah, we've been talking about talking up a storm about it before the, uh, we turned the mics on, so we've run out of everything we have to say, <laughs> so I hope everybody enjoys what they're doing today. <laughs> but in case anybody has anything left, we'll start, we'll go back to the uh, to the the process that has worked so well for us so far, we'll have everybody introduce themselves. Uh, hello there. I'm Troy Leah. At, with, uh, I am coming soon to Joy with Troy, my own hour. Yeah. And we're excited to have you. Can't yeah, wait. that's going to be totally exciting. I can't wait. And I'm Rick McNamer, volunteer. And y'all out there listening, you can text in questions, comments at 541 541- Six six one four zero nine eight, and I'm yeah. Catherine Justman on Facebook and at the Chetco Activity Center, and you can find me in those places. And I am returning after uh, being gone for a bit. Okay, welcome, welcome. Hey, uh, you know what? Uh, Troy just uh, plugged his own program there, oh. and and which is perfectly fine. And what? it occurred to me that I have never plugged my programs. I have two programs. Uh, both of them music. One of them is uh, uh, what I call protest music, called uh, "What's Going On." I play uh, uh, music about what's going on, and the other one is is a simple doo-wop show. I uh, play bu- music from the fifties. And if you like that show, you're going to really love another show we have called "Juke in the Back." Look up when it's on. I forget when it's on, but that is an excellent program playing. Uh, music, the, as I says, the music before it became rock and roll. All three oh. good shows. I'm yeah, a fan. really good. I'm a fan also. So, oh, okay. So, who wants to start out today with some well pearls? Of if music? I may, real quick, then um, I uh, disclaimer is I don't have a TV anymore, which is good. But so I've been trying to catch up on little YouTube stuff. First, I, I have sometimes trivia is boring and. Not fun, but I have thing that I didn't know until I started researching the five rings of the Olympics. Yeah, I know. Troy knows. You Go know for it. it. I know it too. Oh, I get you know it, Kathy. Nope. Okay, we'll educate one person here. Well, let, let me see if I'm right. Oh, yeah, <laughs> so, yeah. Tell, tell me, tell was, me. Now, there's the five rings represent. Uh, well, there's seven continents. They. Uh, Antarctica, of course, isn't going to be there, okay. and they combine South and North America as one continent, and right. that. Now, there's also something about the colors and, of the rings that I'm not aware of. And Inha- inhabited continents. Thank you. Okay, that's that's crucial. Yeah, yeah. right, right. And that's what it's supposed to represent. And what about the colors of the rings? And I, I know there's something of that, and I don't have that. I didn't have that either. Oh well, never mind. What I, what I saw was I knew there was a text in, if you know, the colors are not important. In fact, they don't have to have any color at all. Well, uh, okay. So at least one ter- person. Mm, that's a good question. I didn't even know. Okay. Maybe they do. All right. Well, that's my little... Uh, but I know it's the... Start yeah. Right, they represent the inhabitant continents of the world. Yeah. Okay. So... But you want to start from the beginning, yeah? As far as oh. the, the opening. Oh, the opening ceremony? Oh, uh, yeah. They were just phenomenal. Oh. You know, now again, I didn't... I didn't you missed watch. it. I did. I did. Um, I know there's controversy right away from oh, something yeah, 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 about yeah. the last supper there you go <laughs> and, really um of all people the hierarchy let me put that in there the catholic church was really upset and i was just thinking again i didn't see the the uh, opening maybe show. troy would describe the last supper scene to us well two who haven't seen it i only heard about oh it was it, it was great there, there just happened to be a couple of uh people that were in drag in one of the, right. one or two of the spots, but Are they, well, again, it's, it's, it's just they're making so, something out of nothing. Well, right? and it's far be it from the the church. So it was just a scene to... riding in on a boat, right? It came um, in on a boat. No, no, some it was... things were coming in on boats. 
No, everybody, all the um, contestants came in, or all the athletes came in on boats okay. from their countries. Okay. But the, the, the Last Supper thing, wasn't that a a, um, that was a like, drag group? Yeah, exactly. Doing everything in drag? Yeah. It was not group gratuitous at all. It was just for... Well, and, I, and, and the and explanation was, for that by the people who put it together is it had nothing to do with the Last Supper at all. It was representing some other thing. Boy, the the picture I saw to me that looked like the Last Supper, but and I think part of that was that the uh, Olympics is in France of all places, and they're pretty open to most uh, what d diversity. Diversity, and Definitely. I thought mm -hmm. that was kind of. I've okay. been there twice, and I've I've loved it. They've been so okay. so friendly and amazing. Yeah. So I, there's the opening controversy. I guess, yeah, I, from the, I, there was I, a long table with someone big, big in the middle. Yeah, I, I, I saw it, but I'm not crazy about opening ceremonies, so I didn't pay well, a lot. This was a totally of, different of than you've ever seen it. before. I was, I was more interested in how the torch was being passed for Ronald. And that was really interesting too. Yeah, and how they brought the candidates in, and on, you know, on are the athletes. Sorry, I keep saying candidates. Athletes in on a, on their boats by themselves, and they got to represent and. I they had this beautiful horse that ran the whole way that was mechanical mm. and lit up and it yeah. was like running on top of the water. It was just Ooh. it was just magical. It really was. I'm gonna watch that because it'll it will come up on my YouTube. It was theatrical oh, yeah. even, yeah. Yeah. Right. And they're doing the closing ceremonies right now or yeah, tonight, tonight at prime uh -huh. time. Tonight. And, it's supposed to be great. Uh, well, in France, their prime time's a little uh later than ours. Just a little. I mean, makes it late here. <laughs> makes it late. <laughs> it will. It will be on YouTube if yeah they don't get the. There's gonna be some sure. really good right. um, performances by her and Billie Eilish and um, Snoop Dogg, of course, because he was throughout the whole thing, which was awesome. I don't know. If, <laughs> I thought he was awesome. He was at practically every event, and he made he made it just really fun. Okay, I I just read this morning uh, whether this is controversial or not that he's getting. Paid half a million dollars a day to be at the Olympics. Okay, I'm going to put in my side now because oh, I, I told read. Ray that Snoop Dogg is being lauded for his work with youth, inner city youth, and getting them into sports, yep. and being a coach. So he's, I don't think we can criticize everybody on there with I, getting I paid. I wasn't Every, criticizing. Right, 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 right. It sounded like it's criticism unless it gets a balance to it, right? Right. I don't care so what it gets paid. The balance is. Every commentator on there was getting paid. Yeah. Every one of them was famous. He was just another commentator. Maybe he got paid a little bit more, but he was being recognized for what he has done for sports yeah. and getting kids excited. into the stream, excited and into the stream where they might be in the Olympics someday. And that's very, very important. I, I uh, being of a certain age, have no idea who the hell Snoop Dogg is. Uh, so he's, <laughs> he's a singer? Or a rapper. Uh, a rapper. Yeah, he's. Yeah, he I did a, a he did a great commercial that ran a while back about for uh, beer uh, for beer, where he just kind of walked out and sat down. Mm -hmm. I love that commercial. I thought, All right. Yeah. Good. And he's also big into a little smoke here and yeah, there, so I hear. Yes, we, that's could, right. Yeah. But we could uh, segue uh, into uh, break dancing now, uh, since we've just covered Snoop Dogg. Oh, he, break I, dancing. It's new. It's the new sport in Breaking, the Olympics. Breaking, right? Yeah. Okay. It was. I, I, I loved it. I thought it was really. I great. loved it too. I didn't see it. Uh, to me, I didn't think that was an Olympic sport, but but I'd it's, like Ray. It's, it's not a regular sport. It's not going to be every year. Oh, oh they, they, didn't know that? they introduced it, yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. Because right. I mean, they used to have reading in, as a sport in the Olympics. <laughs> uh, I mean, let's. You know. I want to defend the break dancing um, because I watched both um, the men on the horse and on their floor routines, and I watched the break dancers, and they have some of the same moves. Yeah. Like get, getting on their hands and then spiraling and then moving like a jack in, uh, with five points to touch the ground. They do it in both break dancing and the men's floor routine. Yep. So those guys are athletes. They are totally. world class. They have to do, they have to do it to I'll give them that. Too. I'll give them that. I couldn't but, but do so it. So are ballet that. dancers. Is that have well, ballet? They're maybe class that'll too. Maybe that'll but there's a lot of ballet in the women's gymnastics, uh, Ray. So don't say it's not there. They had there. sports well, climbing. Did you see that? The what? Sports climbing? No. Where they climb the wall. Yeah, oh, the wall. I missed that. Okay. Yeah, that, that was well, something that I hadn't seen before. That was really interesting. You yeah. are just trying to phase the old swimmers, Codgers out. Swimmers in the, in the Seine River, too. Oh. oh which well, I noticed the first day. How about that? I th I've always called it the Seine. Hasn't everybody already called it that? And yeah. everybody on television was calling it the Seine. 
So evidently, that's the correct. I, said, yeah. The first guy's doing this. I said, oh, damn it, why didn't they teach him that? But anyway, uh, that's evidently I the way it's supposed to be said. the point is that Americans can't pronounce French words or places. No, every one of them was saying right? that. No, right, every, so every, I had agree. like five people. We must have been wrong, Ray, because they must have been told how to say it. <laughs> that's what I'm saying, yeah. We've been saying it wrong all these years. Right. But let, let alone the... But how bad of the point is that, to have them compete in a river that's polluted? Well, and I think the same thing happened in Rio. Well, I haven't been gone yeah. twice. I knew that you don't Surfers. go into the water because it's it's uh, it's got bacteria. Because well, it, 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 look that city was born turds going by, just you know? like in Italy too. Yeah. You, know, you know, when you're I, going oh, down in the gondolas. Venice. I don't know if they still Venice. do it. When 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 uh, the first time I went to France was in about 1970, I think, and men just peed wherever they happened to be. <laughs> well, that, well, that's just and I'm sure a lot tacky. of that went in the river. But no, well, the, 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 it was born in or. The, conceptualized in the turn of the century where there wasn't any kind of sewage system. Right. So they didn't have a sewage system. So now it's when it rains is when it's the problem. Yeah. Because you have to tear down the whole city and redo it to have a sewage system. Yeah. So you, I've always known, just as going there, you don't get into the water. Okay. Yeah. Because well, it's, yeah. it's, it's not going to be. So I guess my point is, why did they have the people do it? Well, there? they tried to make it. They spent over, oh, got over $1.4 billion to try to rectify the situation and it, it's impossible because yeah it's every Turning time back it rains, the clock and i mean so you can't 100 you can't, years old the system exactly and well it leaves the same way <laughs> yeah. yeah yeah you just so, don't go into it didn't one of the sw swimmers has already come down with something that nice well the yeah, ones got sick there might the one be that got more. sick and they, they got you know bacterial infection <laughs> yeah the equal eye E e coli. Oh, my. E coli. That's, yep, that's a stuff. lovely one they get, yeah. Well, yeah. so, again, as the non-watcher and catching glimpses, uh, I'll have to chime in once in a while. I did get a thrill out of a couple things Simone Biles did. Uh, Amazing. Yeah, and let's face it, they, the sports in the Olympics are political, and that's just the way it is. Try not to be it. But anyway, when she, got, when she won one of the gold medals, I believe, she said, uh, I like my black job. Yeah, and that was kind of in yes. you know who's It was right debate. after yeah. uh, uh, Trump said, or um, was asked. Um, yes, on that. What's a yeah. black job? Yeah. So she better look out for some uh, uh, Mexican athletes then, if they're coming to get her job. Well, <laughs> there you go. But there's been a lot of racism in oh, and it, still going on. It's to this, yeah, it, a lot of the athletes were complaining about. And it. I don't know if this comes into it, but another Simone Biles, and I have to make sure I get these names right. When uh, her and her teammate Jordan Childs, Jordan Childs won second, uh, uh, second bronze and, and silver. Bronze. Thank you. Anyway, and the uh, was the lady from Brazil, uh, Andrade. Yeah. Anyway, the gold Rebecca medalist. Rebecca Andrade yeah. from so Brazil. So the two. Of Got our two goal. people, they did the old bow down. I thought it was kind of fun. Yeah, she light was amazing. They were they were just bowing yeah. down to her amazement right. and her talent. And to me, that shows that was great. The Olympics is and supposed took, to be. They took Jordan Biles uh, well away. I know that. Okay, before I go there, oh, but sorry. my thought was, and, and a lot of people critiqued uh, Simone and Jordan for doing that. I just thought it was a fun, lighthearted moment. It was totally. Uh, and people put yeah. too much into it. Were those people Republicans? Their, <laughs> well, I mean, it's their just, ceremony. If that's what they want to do. Right. They exactly. Right. They were just praising her for her. Right. She was amazing. What What was her? It what was she meddling? Uh, well, very few that, gymnastics. Uh, yeah, a few, but that, that, that particular one was, was for floor. Floor exercise. Floor okay. exercise, yeah. Right. And it was just, to see that kind of a talent that, yeah. you know, uh, that's a gift. And also, then, I think Simone was giving her respect as being so young, she wanted to encourage her. She might have discussed it with Jordan Childs, but they were giving her respect. Totally. It's, and after it's, they got off the floor, they hugged It's the not other ridicule. And some people are trying to say that they were ridiculing her by oh, bowing. No, no, not no. at all. It's respect. It, and that's all people it like is. People like to put you too know, much the, into those it. Those some people will criticize just about anything. Anything. Yeah, I think, well, we they find will. out who those some people are. We, well, we know those people are. They'll criticize yeah. them. Um, real quick, too, Troy, you had mentioned, yeah, that uh, <laughs> Jordan... Is it, Jordan Childs got mm -hmm. her medal or taken away, right? Yeah, over four, over, over four seconds. Okay, and that's, I'm kind of a rules guy, I guess, sometimes. And I heard that part of, my cousin was telling me about the controversy. And You have two it, minutes to make a oh, is it two? complaint. Okay. Or, but the, 
thing is, I guess the complaint they made showed that that was the correct thing to do. She should right. have been. Yeah. But they went over the time limit, I guess. By, by four seconds. So to, to make a big controversy, to me, it's like, well, we went over the time limit. It, it, it's a uh, done deal. Is that, you know, she that's did, kind of my opinion. She was reinstated, I think, wasn't she? I believe they took her bronze. No, they up. took her bronze away. Well, I thought I saw this morning that she got metal, it back. Didn't she? She did. Oh, she, but she, she got the gold for the all, all around. Okay, right. unless good. she didn't. Um, metal, I am clueless on this. I didn't hear about this controversy, but um, I'd like to talk about diversity in the Olympics. Um, but I'd like to ask Troy to comment first. Oh, hmm? diver the diversity. Yeah. Yeah. Announce the phone number. Okay. Yeah, the phone number. If you would like to ask a question or make a comment, is uh, for texting. Only, correct? Yeah. For yes. texting only. 541 661 4098. Yeah. Well, you heard the athletes actually discussing the um, racism that they felt. I did during, not, uh, during this, the games. Uh, this year. Yeah, oh, definitely. Yeah, well, yeah. It's, it's still there. Yeah. yeah. It's still there for sure. And well, since let, let me go, I'll jump ahead real quick on racism, and we know it exists. It's still around. It's better in some places. We I have to talk about the uh, quote Hitler games or the Nazi games, nineteen thirty six. Oh, yeah. When it was um, now, of course, I wasn't there watching, but it was noted he was trying to get his white Aryan race superiority out. Uh, all through that Olympics. Even if it right. took cheating to do it, right? Well, yeah, that oh, I, I don't know, but I, I don't doubt that happened. But our American, Jesse Owens, won. A four, black man. A black man, that's right. right. Wept the track and field. Yeah, so and he did that, was, like that, that was kind of an in your face. Very, now that the, the yeah. Nazi thing still went on, but it was kind of a good, uh, a good deal for Americans. But then again, Jesse Owens, once that was done, came home and faced a lot of racism. Diverse, yeah. 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 Man, okay. That's just crazy. To, there was a terrific black and white movie filmed by his own uh, videographer, Lily Leesenthal, something like Leesenthal. And she was actually doing it for um, the world, not for Hitler. She was trying to, em like, she aimed her camera a lot at the black, uh, the black athletes, which Hitler didn't ask her, <laughs> didn't want her to oh, do. I didn't and know she about She was a that. wonderful videographer who really believed in diversity and love and peace, and and she for worked sure. for him almost like a spy. So she this coming from a look up her video, the vi the the German video of the uh, 1936 Olympics. It's wonderful. I happen to be a uh, my family's a Holocaust survivor. My my great grandmother. My. She had the, the numbers, and yeah, she was seven years old when it went down, and yeah, so I'm I'm kind of more biased on that. Being well, a, I don't blame you at all. It, 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 that's it, that's something uh, we I've talked about this with other people before. Getting off the Olympics real quick, but that Holocaust, the big saying was the world was saying never, never again. But that hasn't happened at all. We haven't kept a lot that of pledge. stuff has happened since we, then. We've done very yeah. no, right, exactly. Kind of a, a downer, but okay. That, yeah, it was that, 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 yeah. Uh, That's definitely a downer. And That's one last thing, thing about, I guess, my, my particular, my personal star was Simone Biles, but. Oh, beyond. And yeah. I guess. And you didn't see the diving or anything? No, I didn't. Oh, wow. Platform diving was amazing. But she was criticized uh, pretty hard. I was at the last Olympics because she had kind of a. Uh, you might want to call it. She got the help. twisties where she didn't know up from down, and so she okay. would have risked her life if she had continued performing. Well, and right. everyone criticized her right. for bowing out before the end of the Olympics and taking a break from competition yeah. so that she could get her head on and get her body working properly. Maybe has she been? And she has fully come back, but I think maybe she, if she had competed, she would be sitting watching the Olympics in a wheelchair. So perhaps exactly. Uh, and I, I was I, just I, get a little. I was just glad to see her get what I would call her come. I up hope with. she's done competing. Well, I well, I mean, I if, if she's meant, to, I, I'm. I think it's awesome that she brought that to the forefront. Um, her yeah. mental oh, you know, yeah, wellness right. is so important, right. and that's so much part of what athletes have to go through is the you mental bet. part of it, yep. not just the physical. And I heard it might help yep. other people bring right that their health. physical and their mental health, yeah, and put it first, get and, those right, and yes, and not allow bullies to tell them that they're uh, a coward when they're really acting like a hero. Exactly. 
So that's one kind of diversity. So Get I help if you need it. to talk about the bullying of female athletes who didn't fit the norm of what certain people think femininity is or being a woman is. And at least five sports that I could count, uh, there were women who were told um, in the media, public media, that they're not women. They do not fit the standard for feminine beauty. So I didn't um, hear that, but that's, that's you all didn't that. hear about it. Uh, okay, well, the first big one was a boxer who punched a Brazilian boxer, who and in 45 seconds the Brazilian boxer uh, resigned or from the fight, and then certain people started saying that that woman punches so hard she's not a woman, she must be a man, she's trans, she's a man. Oh, God. And, well, and it be... went on <laughs> to other events. The same right. thing happened over and over again. A woman rugby player um, was, who was six foot five was called a man and because she took her team to a, a win and had been, has been a champion for years. And, well, let me tell you, she was talking on, on YouTube, uh, a video I watched, very feminine and very beautiful woman with broad shoulders, six foot five, so strong. Yeah, when they're competing, they... they Muscle up. Yeah, well, they have to look a certain way. They can't be sitting there with, you know, gobs of makeup on and they're... Like, they're like little done. Barbies. I mean, even Simone, I mean, she's got the flyaway little hairs. It doesn't matter you're competing. Right. You know, so who are they to judge? But they're shaming body are, type, are, are not how you judge? apply your makeup. They even call... They even look at makeup as something that transgenders will automatically do to hide their transgenderism. They need to get so a life makeup, is what they need to do. Makeup is not the standard that they're being judged on. They're being judged on body type, and it is just disgusting. Well, all of our bodies are different. Yeah, exactly. Especially when you're working out. Ex <laughs> or not. Well, or not working out. <laughs> okay. <laughs> what I'm talking about is diversity. Right. Diversity has well, comes in many names. And right. diversity means accepting people the way they are. Right. Mentally, physically, spiritually, their body, shape, their gender. Uh, I watched another video about how gender is determined. The Olympics can't even decide how to determine gender because gender is determined by four things. Your DNA, your outer genitalia your hormones, and there's another factor, that I, the fourth factor I've forgotten. And you can have one, two, three, or four of those in the forefront, uh, making you be the one you choose or be what you obviously look like. But if the other three are different, then someone's going to label you okay, trans. the wrong gender or faking or being trans. Okay, yes, the trans question. people, what... what it's their DNA. Is it, is... No, there are four factors. And I know, all, I know. I'm asking the question. Uh, it's called gender fluidity. All of these people are affected by four factors, and the Olympics oh, could choose any one of those factors. They used to have a naked walk for women so they could see if they had outside genitalia. Wow. Now they use a different factor. It's not hormones. I think it's, and I don't know if it's the DNA test. Or it's the third, te the fourth test. I can't remember, but they only test one of those four things, and then they say, "Okay, oh, it's uh, oh, the fourth factor is what have you been called since birth?" That's the factor they're well, using. They have ovaries. What have you been called from birth? Hey, some women don't have ovaries, and some men do. So uh, yeah, that's called genitalia, Ray. So. The Olympics is using what you've been called from birth. So now they've been defending that boxer by saying she's been a woman her whole life. She's been a girl since birth. And so you can't question her gender. And I would agree with that. What she wants to be called is what she is. But these other three factors in her could be different. But outwardly to her, she is a woman and a girl. And what's sad is that we're even discussing well, these kinds of issues. I'm it's like, discussing this because it's part of gender um, shaming. Okay. Right. Well, I, and I personally. I mean, if you can imagine that they used to have a naked parade. Right. And, to and determine it, it, if they were women or not. Right. They abolished that. Well, yeah, but that was way back in the eighteen. Yeah, that, eighteen. Uh, it was probably 1800s. up until the thirties. Oh well, I didn't. They only uh, recently. Well, they only recently I didn't know about have that. the ability to test DNA. Okay. I didn't know about I don't that. think all of that, most of that didn't come. I think that Algerian boxer, and I'm sorry I had her name somewhere, but I think it was just the fact that she didn't look like you were talking about, didn't look like the Barbie that some people want all women to look like. 
she was a woman, and they tried to because uh, dig up the thing, the thing that, that made me dead. sick about that. They showed a picture of her on on Fox News. That thing with all the well, there, people there, getting together, right there. Well, and <laughs> and this uh, commentary. Well, she's obviously a man. You can look. She's a man. Well, you uh, I want to yeah. correct Rick on something. It wasn't just because she was maybe, um, but by their standards, her face was masculine. They said it was because she punched so hard that if she could punch that well, hard, she couldn't be a woman. So, that's just somebody being jealous that she's that is exactly that she's correct. Stronger okay. than some men. And I she's think probably that's stronger where, than me or whatever. But it's right. That's I wouldn't be in the ring it, with that's her. That's ridiculous. Okay, it's well, I from, think that's where most gender shaming comes from, right. some kind of envy. And if anybody should know about gender, it's myself being gender fluid myself. Because, <laughs> yeah, I've been expert in, in Walmart and people scream out, hey, RuPaul. Oh, like, my God. Right. Since then, that's been since birth. Well, so, I, mean, I, I do, know anything uh, about that. Troy, I do have grandchildren who've also been, uh, people have yelled at them the wrong uh Oh, it doesn't offend me at all. You got the wrong pretty identity. Yeah, the wrong people identity. People are just showing their stupidity. They're displaying that they're, they're an idiot. Yeah. Yeah. It's like all of I them. have a beard. Hello, <laughs> that's why I keep my beard on. I like my beard <clears throat> because it's like I, I enjoy being a man. I right on. E M. Yep. Yeah. You know, come on. Yep. But anyways, I think we should be talking about more how this the Olympics are supposed to bring us together and yes, unite us. Yes. Yep. And be and not these these scandals. little issues, right? I'm right. with you. And, and, and there was a lot of joy, yeah, like especially I said, even now. Yeah. Oh boy. I think do we the, need... the, the things you're talking about? Bring it out in the open, and because of that, there will it will someday be resolved. We certainly. Oh, I'm sure it's resolved. Hope so. Yeah. But the way it's going now, it's not going to be in a, for a while. But there's going to be just people that want to have controversy in what to their bring lives up are. the gender about. shaming thing, and I think it's now crazy. we've got controversies out of the way, we should talk about the joy that it brings and the benefits that it brings and what it does for world consciousness. So who wants exactly. to start on that? Anybody go, go for it? Yeah. Um, well, I mean, what I saw, maybe it's your perspective what you see. Yeah. Um, I saw just hope and if you work hard and these people sacrifice their lives, I mean, I was almost a, a professional um, ice skater. I had the opportunity to go down that road, but I knew that you have to devote your whole life and being to it. I mean, there's no proms, there's no dates, there's no what an average teenager would go through or anybody. Yeah, It's all about your sport. To get yep. to this level and to be gold or whatever, just to compete, it should be mm-hmm. it's so honorable. Yes. And these people should be honored and not right. Nick pick <laughs> like, oh, you're too this or you're too. Come on, people, <laughs> let's get real. Um, well, for joy, for me in the Olympics, uh, since it, it, in high school, I I did the I was the big guy sport through the shot and the discus, and those track and field events always really. Uh, it is some of the stuff that I used to like to watch. Did, did but, you watch the the, uh, the only on YouTube? Yes, <clears throat> yes. And the, and the shot put my what, my big buddy. Look, I can, look, I, yeah, oh, look at who oh. won. And yeah. it's funny the way they throw it now was completely different than back in the '60s because now they do a little spin and it looks like it's the best way to do it. It's the best way to do it. And then but, the ball and chain. That's oh, the hammer. That's that. That's it I mean, it's amazing stuff. Yeah, we didn't have that in high school. But what I wasn't ever was fast, and I always loved to watch the sprints, mm. especially the um, the relays. Mm. It, it's Ooh. almost a thing of beauty. If it go, I know that we are We had controversy this time about it, didn't yeah. Didn't do it right, but that no, baton well, pass, along well, with being faster than you what, lightning. What was the controversy? They, the, they, uh, they passed well, they off. They didn't. They missed the handoff from the baton. And he, oh. and he went too far ahead. And, USA? Yeah, yes. and, and they, they did this the last time that they competed in this realm. Huh. They messed up. It's yeah. like, what? They need to take lessons from the ladies. What? Oh, yeah. Oh, they were they were just amazing. <laughs> and it wasn't, the athletes, it's so much more than that because they, they zoomed in the parents and all the people that they sacrificed. Oh, you know, my mom did it too. She took me to class every day. And okay. to, you know, it, there's so much sacrifice that they give in, their money, their time. Just see them all joyful when their, their child wins. It's, it's just... Well, it, gives it, me, like, it gives me goosebumps me right too. now. It was just Honestly so amazing not. to yeah. see that joy and hope and all, all that sacrifice paid off. Right. And people should be learning that. You have to work hard to achieve hard. You bet. 
Because you, you don't get anything in life for free unless you work for it. Right. And that's when you appreciate it the most, right? And they do work. Oh, they work. For, I mean, that's all they do. They sacrifice their, their lives life, for it. Totally. Yeah. Right. Hey, we're halfway through the show already. I can't believe it. So just wanted to let everybody know that's listening. You can text in. Uh, questions yeah, what are you guys thinking? 541-661-4098. And everybody out there is listening to KCIW 100.7 FM, your local volunteer radio station. Community. Awesome radio station. You yeah. bet. Okay, I want to talk about two Olympics of the past, uh, Tokyo 1964 and Lake Placid Olympics. Uh, it happens to be the Winter Olympics, Lake Placid hmm. Olympics in 1980. So I'll talk about Tokyo first and finish with uh, Lake Placid. Um, the Tokyo Olympics in 1964, uh, it was sort of a reward to Japan for, um, you know, being good since... Uh, have being occupied by America, but it was like, okay, we're going to help Japan get back into the world uh, because they've been good for 20 years or since the end of World War II. So um, the um, t- Tokyo had to be remodeled because it had, you know, sewer open sewers in the streets and very antique housing and um, it was very polluted and stray animals were walking around cleaning up the garbage. So Tokyo set about remodeling as soon as they were given that assignment to have the Olympics. And they, they did destroy neighborhoods of old antiquated housing and put up new beautiful buildings, beautiful architecture, which was greatly admired by the people who came. Um, but they also had to move people out of slums. They had to move um, stray animals and destroy them, uh, homeless animals, I mean, animals without owners, um, which, by the way, I'm not in favor of, but sometimes when there's overpopulation uh, and and they're causing uh, litter in the streets, you know, and when they're causing disease or spreading disease, uh, like like flea-caused disease. So anyway, that was something that had to be done. But Tokyo rebuilt and became a world-class capital. So, but they it, moved somewhere. Maybe you were going to get to this if you. They moved uh, people. Is that what a, you were going to say? About a million or a million and a half. Right, right. And Rio did the same thing, but both of those were cities that had bad neighborhoods. As it eventually, I mean, all right. So when it was in America and it was called urban renewal, we did the same thing, mm-hmm. right? But these were both cities that were way. Um, what did I say? Not modern, not modernized. So they had to do something to modernize. And the Olympics promoted that Tokyo modernization. And then the people who came to the Olympics greatly admired the um, the architecture in Tokyo. And it's been a world-class city ever since. Um, it uh, A movie was made based on the Tokyo Olympics with Cary Grant called Walk, Don't Run. Uh, I don't know if it came out before the Olympics as publicity or after the Olympics as just a way to extend the joy of the Olympics. But the Olympics do cause a lot of joy because it gets together people from every country in the world, more countries every year, more sports almost every time. Um, And Tokyo really, people really had a good time at the Tokyo Olympics by this video that I saw. Did that video show where any of those million or million and a half people were? Uh, did, they, are, did they get to get like free passes to some, some of the so, events? Or? Well, I don't. I'm sure housing was built for some of them, but I've also well, watched a video about homelessness in Tokyo. But that's not the topic the, here. The, the but, video I well, watched about that it shows this. There is homelessness uh, in Tokyo. Uh, shows this family walking down the street away from we don't know what, and it was very much like the refugees you see leaving war zones. Every the mm-hmm. woman with the wagon, and it was probably right. probably a little girl with a doll. I didn't see that. But. Well, Ray, I doubt we've ever done a very good re- renovation of a city no, no. anywhere well, every, every, in the world. Everyone that has the, because we're going to have the, the next one in Los Angeles, correct? Okay, so. Oh, I didn't oh, know. Oh, yeah, the Probably. next one's going to be in LA. Okay. After Paris. But I think everybody that does, puts it on, has to clean house, basically. You know, you're going to clean your house where you have people come over, the same kind of thing. You're gonna. Right. You want the the world to see 
your best. You, you're at your best. And and Paris did an amazing job. Had been there before. I've been there twice before, before the Olympics. And it wasn't that big of a change. There was extra. I called it, you know, extra fabulousness added. You know, there's nothing they could really do about the, the river. But I thought it was pretty much the same thing, but it was just a lot of extra and invite. I, I see your point about some of the times some of these countries have done some shady things to well to look the part when it's... I think that's a lot of the pressure it, 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 that the yeah, IOC yeah. puts on some oh, Totally. Uh, since the we IOC. brought up the displaced Uh-oh. people, and that's what Ray is interested in, a more modern video I watched about the homeless people in in uh, Japanese cities, it showed them in these like park-like areas where there's a lot of bamboo, like sh- almost like um, uh, living fences of bamboo. And it was almost like a campground. Where these people were, these homeless people were living. They weren't. They, they'd been there for twenty years. They hadn't been chased out. They had a place to throw away their garbage and a place to hang up their clothes to dry, and a water supply. And so, in a way, those people who were displaced um, were at least not hounded um, the way we hound our people who live on the streets. As a matter of fact, they weren't even forced to live on the street. They were sent to a kind of a wooded area, and they were allowed to build houses, permanent houses. So, on not, on, not on the streets, but we'll put you in the woods. <laughs> They're treating them better than we are, is what I'm Very, saying. I, I don't know. That's that's yeah, a but, recent but, video. But I, mean, to, I, I don't want to spend any more time it, on this, right, because, right. so, except one Me thing. Either. <laughs> you have to realize those videos you saw and all that stuff were probably done by the, the Japanese government. No, the recent During, video and, was and done the, by a tourist. The, uh, the recent video was done by a tourist from okay. in a the, foreigner. In the 30s and the 40s, when the when the Nazis were uh, locking people up, they had these demonstration places <laughs> where it was fenced in, but there were parks and the kids were oh, all yeah. playing and everybody. We have refugee tapping. camps like that now too today. Yes, yeah, they, uh, beautiful they refugee exact, camps. They were not real refugee. They were demonstration <laughs> things. They put this. They weren't real. They I, were I know films made. I know. And it's it's an awful big commitment because they, the Paris Games had over almost close to twelve thousand. Competitors, yeah, and then I mean that's that's an influx of a lot of people and of the tourists and the, the, oh my God. the media and all that. It's like crazy. It's like having everybody in town come to your house. Yeah, <laughs> you know what I'm saying. So, it's just like and, and, and so you watch a lot of that. Tour, I watched obviously. all of it. Okay, yeah. So w- would you say then overall France did a pretty good they job? They did a great job. That. Well, that's it's good a, to know. Amazing job. That's I good didn't to know. Yeah, because um, so there's a certain feel once you get there. I tried to explain this to people. Yeah, I've never been there. So. It's kind of like there's this atmosphere of joy and happiness, and the food is amazing. <laughs> <laughs> they just have a different standard of our thought process of, of life. Yeah. And, and you don't see a lot of oh, heavy people because they oh. don't have fast foods. And they walk every place. You walk or you ride a bike or yeah. you, you exercise your body. And you. their thing is three good bites of something great is all you need. You don't need to be supersized, quote unquote. They don't do any of that, <laughs> like because they do it, a lot here, right? And because it just tends to stretch out bad food. No big gulps think, over there. Oh, I take it. <laughs> no, there's no, it, there's none of that. I mean, which is good thing. They right. they eat small quantities because, yeah. but good quantity. Yeah, that's what it yeah. should be about, right? Yeah. It just, everybody was so friendly and so nice and welcoming. Cool. See, one of the things that I remember more than well, not. <clears throat> several things, but one of the things that I remember about Paris is um, you can't walk very far without stepping in dog poop. So I wonder if <laughs> well, they've done something about cleaning yeah, that up since... Uh, I didn't have that experience. You know, because people... Must have gone out in different neighborhoods. It certainly it's happens on our beaches here. I've saw so people that, dog. let's say that they saw it and it wasn't their dog, yeah. they pick it up and they don't right on. Uh, You know, have an attitude about it. It's like, oh, somebody else for- forgot. And I've done that. I have four dogs. It's like, if I see somebody else's, yeah, yeah I'm not happy that they left it because you shouldn't walk your dog without a bag. Exactly. But I'll pick it up just because Why this not? is my planet too. Good for My you. neighborhood, whatever it is, and not complain when, about it. When I had a dog, I had a plastic bag in every pocket of every item of clothing. I, I, I have one on me right now, I think, yeah. Uh, me too, should I? Right? <laughs> when you have dogs. I'm free of the plastic bag precious. thing and, and, the, and the mask. I just feel so liberated. Oh, <laughs> Well, I would be remiss. One of my 
uh, my most memorable favorite Olympics uh, was 1968, again, doing the track and field in high school and stuff. And first off, that was the the Bob Beeman when he smashed the long jump record by like two feet or something. <laughs> Yeah. Um, anyway, that, that was a, a, an outstanding performance right. to me. And, of course, the uh, controversy of Tommy Smith and John Carlos uh, for winning the medals in the sprint, 200. I'm sorry, I don't exactly remember, but they were the medalists. Right. And they did the black power salute, and they wore uh, black socks with no shoes. I remember. To represent the poverty of African Americans, of black Americans. Right. And they got pretty well villain. I think they were just kicked out from then on, and they've had tough lives after that from what I've, I've okay. read. That's so sad. Well, co- what they just, still have problems? Uh, from what I've read, they, they, I don't think they ever did uh, compete again. Um, I think one of them, John Carlos might have tried to get back in, but, uh, you know, point is, back then, that was a pretty tumultuous time in our country with yeah, Vietnam yeah. War protests, the, the race riots, all right. of that stuff. So, but, and then juxtaposed with that, and I remember this pretty well, George Foreman won the gold in the boxing, and then he, he, he stuck a little American flag in his boxing glove and walk around, walked around the ring. I just thought it was pretty oh. cool. And, I mean, I certainly understood the protest, too. Oh, you know, back but, then they didn't give him one to wear on his shoulders, but now they give all the track stars one to wear on their shoulders. Oh, well, and, their and own they might, flag. yeah. Well, and so I don't know, maybe. You brought it what you, where you came um, from. Yeah. yeah. They thought uh, after George Foreman, somebody said, hey, we should give people, the winners, their flags and uh, let them carry it. And that's been what they've done now yeah. for a long time. Yeah. A lot of, that's what we should be concentrating on. They're Americans first. Yes. Before, before they're their race, or anything else. We should all be excited for that person and yeah. proud of that person because they're Americans like us. Exactly. And but, that's it, not because of any other reason. You know what right, I'm saying? Right. But again, we can't help it, the uh, the politics and other it's factors. That we don't Even religion see. getting infused. Totally. And uh, just a sad, sad probably, fact. Probably one of the biggest political ones was uh, the 1936 in Germany. Right, where, the Nazi where, Olympics, yes, they where, called it. Where Hitler was so mm-hmm. uh, yep. well known for, for, for you know, that ever happened. his Lily promos, Wiesenthal. But what are the That's is, the videographer of that Olympics, Lily uh, Wiesenthal. It starts with W or V. Yes, go ahead, Ray. One of the uh, things that you know, Hitler was certainly aware of, of the image he was going to be presenting to the world. Oh, yeah. One of the things they did is they took down all the uh, anti Semitic. Posters and things like that, and just made it look like everything was. <laughs> That's just, right. I forgot. Yeah, in Germany, just good sure. point, and that did happen. I remember reading uh, about that. That didn't, that didn't do. What's his name? Who was the athlete that? Well, oh, Jesse Owens. Or... Jesse Owens. Oh, Jesse oh, yeah. Owens. I'm sorry. Um, yeah, we, uh, we talked. Bill about Thorpe that. Uh, was in a different year. Jim he, Thorpe. He, Jim Thorpe was in the '50s, right? Yeah. Oh. Uh, he was the Indian athlete. Yeah. Uh, in the track and field. I think in the '20s, I believe. Uh, Somewhere back there. Oh yeah, much much before before Jesse Owens. Yeah, thank you. Well, thank you. That's a guess, but I think <laughs> I might be right. Uh, he was before. He was okay. before. Um, okay, yeah, I watch a lot of videos about these things, but the one about Tokyo just made me think that that was what made Tokyo an international city by a- actually being able to hold the Olympics. So in uh, Lake Placid Olympics, nineteen eighty, that was a Winter Olympics. And Lake Placid had been um, a place with private ski lodges, and then they but they built up the tourism around Lake Placid, and so it became a destination and a training place for um, uh, Olympic athletes. In the 30s, they had their first Olympics, Winter Olympics, and um, I think that's where Sonia Henney got her gold medal. And then um, later in 1980. Uh, it helped the town economically and the area economically. Well, that's the year, 1980, um, that our amateur hockey team, ice hockey team, played the USSR's pro hockey team. And, uh, you know, they just wanted to, our team just wanted to make a real good showing, and they didn't expect to win. But by some miracle, they did win 4-3 to three, or 5-4. to four. Like one point, 
between them. Yeah. They did manage to win, and a movie was later made about it called The Miracle on Ice, I think. Um, but it really was a miracle. And that made me think, as I watched that video, I thought, wow, lots of people have miracles at the Olympics, you know? And some of them are individual miracles. There, there, there's some that happened on these. And, there, there were some countries that haven't won for yeah, a, over miracle. 100 years. Yes. Or just even or us Americans won. competing. Right. And got and a medal. I was asking my husband this. I was like, okay, so you're an athlete, right? And your country hasn't won in your event for over 100 years, right? So your motivation to give it your all, do it no matter, you know, because that's who you are. Yeah. That's got to be another wow, in my opinion, because like, because you went out and you tried it and you gave it your best anyways against the odds. And then they win because some of them have won right. in these Olympics. Right. And it's that's even more powerful mm -hmm. to see because they haven't won or haven't won, the country hasn't won ever. Right. There was there was some of those too that have never meddled in whatever event it is. And that's just wow. Oh, the phone number four uh, five four one six six one four zero nine eight. Give us your opinion. What do you yeah. guys think? Is questions comment? Yeah, you know back to, uh, and uh, Kathy, that was a pretty famous miracle on ice, and I I happened to be watching that one. Of course, back then it was delayed, but that's okay too. Um, that brings up the. Something I'm not too thrilled about is um, the professional athletes being allowed in the Olympics. Now, ah, I know I know yes. that we have our, you know, it's great to see all of our best basketball players, uh, although they had some tough games, too. I just, I'm just not a believer in that. I think it should be restricted. Well, the only kind of basketball players who aren't pro in America would be um, students. So how would we feel the team if we didn't feel the pro team? <laughs> Because there's got there's plenty of college athletes out there. there yes, there are a lot of college athletes yeah. out there. But that would limit it, don't you think? What's that? that wouldn't that limit it to certain people? Uh, you know that I don't pro know. Because pro is you're getting paid, and these people need to get paid to do well, what they do. And back to the with the Russian hockey thing, I remember the big thing was they weren't really professionals in Russia. They, they, it was the way they they were they were they paid by the turned, government. I well, guess. Well, okay, but they they turned they deemed them that they weren't. Either way, but I thought. Um, I, it was that made it that much better that we beat that Russian oh, team. Oh, absolutely. And so let me finish my thought. So I was saying lots of miracles happen to individuals and lots of miracles happen to teams. But I think the miracles are sometimes even happening to the spectators and the people at home. So, you know, exactly. the, the miracles that come from the Olympics are going to reach every spectrum of society. They're going to reach everybody because uh, they're inspiring and... Yeah. They inspire the cause of diversity. And to me, them being held during this campaign period, and I guess they're very often during a presidential campaign, but um, during this special campaign period, I find them especially uh, inspiring. Inspiring yep. by the people who have spoken, like Simone Biles, inspiring by the athletes themselves and what they represent. So thank you to the Olympics, no matter how, Yep. corrupt the Olympic Committee might be, the athletes themselves, they're angels, they're gems, they're heroes, and they're spokespeople for some of us. And thank you, God, for the Olympics. I think so, too. Especially yeah. now. Yeah. Yeah, we should, We certainly but can use diversion. People watching a lot of videos, you, you said a few times, have you ever watched, which you should, I found fascinating, go and see all the Olympic villages that have gone to dust, you You're know, right. that have just become right. nothing because in these countries that just because they just let them lapse, and it, it's really fascinating to see. It used to be like this right. when they were there, and then they just poof. It takes money to keep that those venues up, right? Those right. Stadiums and those whatever it is. A lot of right. countries. There's a, there's a ton more that okay have lapsed. So Tokyo built their uh, monorail and their bullet train. Uh, for the Olympics, and it actually went somewhere. It went to oh, Osaka. You got a text, huh? And and um, the uh, one in Seattle, of course, was just for show. That monorail never went anywhere. So we are just as bad as other countries about not using the infrastructure that was built, that built for, for the Olympics right. just for show, just for a ride or beauty, and now we are going to get the text message we just received. Yes, we what? did receive a this text. Question. Thank you, thank you. The text says, 
What a change from the Olympics of our childhood to now. The athletes then seemed stifled compared to the joy and open camaraderie of today's athletes. Not only hugs between members' own team, but after the event, hugs between the competitors, which, yeah, that's great, and the wonderful change with removing biased judges. Of course, certain countries were not allowed to compete. Let's not forget that one volleyball game was calmed down by the song Give Peace a Chance. Didn't know about that. The Olympics are always amazing and inspiring. Remember that France set a goal to have a male-female parody. Awesome. Wonderful comment. Thank very you good. so Thank much. Very good. Thank you very much. Yeah. Women, the women. person who sent that in, and, um, you know, I really appreciate because I want to emphasize the good that comes from the Olympics. Well, a lot of good. Lot and of, uh, I think that we stuff. have talked about some women? of the good that comes from the good, Olympics today. Time. Thank women? you so much, uh, listener. Women were first allowed in the Olympics in 1900. Yeah. And an, another, uh, on, the, on a similar vein, uh, the original Olympics, back when they were running and jumping into whatever they were doing, the men were, were competing naked. In 1896, and, right? That's when they started. Who did? Uh, the, the Olympics started in 1896. I oh, they think were, the nakedness. No, no, no. no. The, oh, the nakedness. In, in 300, uh, when back when? Uh, oh, uh, further back. B.C. AD. B.C. <laughs> uh, Before. And, and, and now it's only the uh, women who show their butts in the... Yeah, oh. now the women have to strip down <laughs> to their silhouette. Which, right. no, which, which brings I, I, to mind my favorite sport. Uh, he's talking about the swimming, yeah. B- b- women's no. beach ball volleyball. Oh, there's that. Ray, beach, Ray beach, can't even say beach. it. He's all, <laughs> just beach volleyball. volleyball. Yeah, I never really thought much of the Olympics. So my, my ex-wife used to watch it all the time. And so one day I was walking through the living room and she had it on and, and the women's beach volleyball was playing and I sat down and since then I've been a fan of women's beach volleyball. Can you name the top uh, 10? No, I can't. I didn't think so. I can't, yeah. No, I can't <laughs> name any of them. <laughs> so you, why didn't you watch the two? swimming? The women's <laughs> swimming were, I was talking about that, is that their bathing suits are so small in the back, their hind end is just pretty much hanging out. Yes. <laughs> you know, during the diving, it's just like, you know. Oh, I didn't see the diving. Oh. It's a lot more than you would see in playing volleyball, for sure. Really? Oh, yeah. I think it'd be interested I'll in that. Sure, remember I mean, that for next time then. Right. Yeah. But they're basically <laughs> wearing thongs because they, their bottom is just hanging out. Yeah. But that's that's the, the swimsuits that they but wear. There joking you go. aside, I do think that beach volleyball is a wonderful sport to watch because. Oh, it is. It's so fast and it changes back and forth and back and forth. How they do it's, that is yeah. pretty amazing. Pretty amazing. It's like watching the. I did get a little bit of the table tennis or ping pong, which <gasps> wow, I Wow, to... was that not fascinating and fast? I can't, I mean, I, 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 mean, yeah, it was I thought just like, it was kind of good, but no. Nothing like that. And, no, that and how was... they did it was just, well, <laughs> you can't believe what you're seeing. Right. It's, it, right. It, happened, it happened so quick. How do you even see with that little... That did little they have table. a slow motion replay? Oh, uh, gosh. Yeah, yeah. yeah, but it, that's when you actually got to see it. Because right. it happened so right. fast, and they were right. so talented. How do they score those games? I don't even know how tennis gets scored. Cause the way th- that ping pong was like, oh, wow. <laughs> they, they just, wow. there was badminton too. That was really, really interesting. I didn't too. see that, but yeah, right. Yeah, and what I what I wanted to touch on too was the um, the um, synchronized swimming was so beautiful this year because it was more theatrical. And it wasn't just you just saw the top part of the pool where the okay. the, the, the ladies did the. The yeah. legs, but you saw underneath, the way. and you saw there was a little performance before, and then they jumped in the pool, and they, it was choreographed to music. It, I mean, being a theater person myself, it was almost like theater in the water. Yeah, and it was really great to see, to see that right. kind of art. As a arts person district. who tried out to be a synchronized swimmer myself, I really, really appreciate. They now beautiful. call it art swimming. And um, I just think they are magnificent. Thank you for mentioning them. Yeah, they were really, uh, I was mesmerized. Well, it's uplifting stuff, man. That, again, I think that's what the Olympics is supposed, supposed to do. Put a smile on your face. Yeah. Okay, yeah. we had one participant from the audience today uh, with a very, uh, very uh, good uh, uh, participation. And I uh, just want to remind everybody, you have a few minutes left. You can call 541-661-4098. And send us a text. Let us know what you think. Yes, we sure. are winding down, aren't we? Yes, yeah. yeah. In the last few minutes here, but we did. We were at the top forty gold medals. 
we, we in all we won 126 total medals. Which so we, we did come we out ahead. We did come out ahead. USA, you know? USA. <laughs> we did. That's good. We you weren't uh, going up against the USSR. Maybe that's why we got so many. Well, <laughs> there's a good reason for that. Yeah. 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 In the, but in the, the Ukraine won quite a few. Oh, which good was for amazing. them. I'm a big Ukraine backer. Me too. Okay. I remember back, maybe it was in the 60s or 70s, there was so much controversy about the um, the, the Russian uh, judges and I guess probably the Chinese judges and them being very, very in favor of their own countries. Does that still go on? Or uh, is that, well, I, was that? It's like judging the, I guess, of a, like a floor exercise. That's kind of. Well, they, 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 they carpent, they. They made it for like, well, at least what I heard is like, let's say there's 12 judges, one judge, like for, let's say for diving, they do just the takeoff of the dive. Okay. And then another judge does oh, really? the the spin, you know, whatever the yeah. performance ah, is. Good. And one is the entrance. That so it's not like, like one person does, does the whole thing. That's sure. a solution. That's right. Right. very good That's solutions too. I mean, you, yeah. you can't really right. Yeah, right. be favoritism as yeah. much as you want to, of course. But yeah, I think it was really fair. Well, that's, it's, that's it's good lot, that they've come fair. up with a way to take care of that. Because like, I remember yeah. it was very, very blatant. Well, being oh, over. definitely. Yeah. Definitely. And different world well, world powers are still at each other's throats sometimes. Yeah. So I guess, you know. People get uh, power and control of people, and we yeah. don't understand why. Yeah. That's they're what's happening now. Good, strong leaders that their people respect. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's what we're trying to do. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> at least I hope. And I, I don't know about this little controversy, but um, the Taiwan was not allowed to use their name or their flag because they, I guess the, I'm going to say the IOC, didn't want to offend China so much by, did you hear about that, Troy, at all? I did not. You I, watched I, that. But I, I know the IOC let the um, North and South Korea compete. Which I found oh, fascinating. Okay. Oh. I didn't know that one either. Yeah. And so it was like. But not as one, right? No, no, not as one. But it's oh. like, okay, I can see why we have one, but well, why the other? And... Right. But again, you know, it, it, as ugly as those things can be, that's that's the good. You, you would hope maybe a little athletic competition will kind of heal some moves. So, so what did Taiwan use for a flag? You know, I was my cousin was talking to me about this. I give him credit. And I don't remember, but it, they called it uh, not, um, Taiwan. They had to use another name. Now it's uh, bypassing me. But Formosa? No, no, no. That, not that no. old name. No. Oh, anyway, uh, they yeah, they can't offend the Red Chinese. It's okay to offend North Korea, but not the Chinese. So well, I guess during the um, Olympics, try not to offend anybody. But uh, I, I, I think Taiwan was offended by by that whole thing. Yeah. So. We don't have as much financial interest in Taiwan as we do with... And that's what countries. it all comes down to, let's yeah. be real, money. Yeah. Money. Taiwan is, where my, Taiwan is where my husband was stationed in the um, Air Force during uh, Vietnam, and he was a radio operator, a listener, so he was stationed there. Uh, so I kind of have an affinity, like... Oh, I, do too. I think it's one of our... Mm -hmm. Yeah. There's a beautiful back Yeah. Hmm. But, well, we're... Getting down to yes, the nitty gritty here. Oh, it goes little... so fast; it's not fair. It does. It, does. it should be two hours. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I'm just a person that can talk for days. Well, good. We're glad you're here. Yeah. <laughs> well, you want a minute? The joy of Troy. You got a minute? Two Hello. seconds. Go ahead. We talked about the good, the bad, and the ugly of the Olympics this year, the 2024 Olympics, and I hope you enjoyed our program. Thank you so much for the participation of. Troy, Troy with yeah, Troy, Troy Leah, Leah. Yeah. Yeah. with Troy, Troy Leah, soon to be. Uh, I knew it was a T, but I didn't want to say the, your name the, wrong. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. At the infamous, yeah. And Thank keep you. an eye out for Troy's new show that will start soon, and then there it will be a new show it, today. Yeah. It's just kind of a. Yeah, I'm just here. Yeah, give me my opinion. Okay, I hear the bumper music uh -oh. is sneaking go. in now. Thank you, people. Yes. Hot years. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Okay, thank you very much for tuning in and check with us. Same time, same station. New topic. Next Sunday when we'll be talking about something new. If you have an idea or something you would like us to talk about, get a hold of us. KCIW.org. 